New body, new game, be ready my enemy. It's a really nice day, it almost reminds of home. You look so beautiful my sweet Sam. Your hair is so nice and you look so pretty, how sad is it that they want to kill you my honey. We should go out sometime, though I guess you got more important things to do, don't you? Wait. Just who are you? Those words, I said those same words too. That was before the invasion and all the deaths. Damn it. Valerie and David believe I'm suicidal? They don't believe me. Now they will say I'm crazy for talking to myself, great. Wait a minute, those are Valerie and David, but what are they doing? Something feels off, it's like the thing that took over my body, I got to tell Sam. Hi Valerie, is anything wrong? It's nothing David, I tough I saw something, but it was probably my imagination. Anyway, why did you wanted to see me, is there anything in what I can help you? I just wanted to see you David, can we go somewhere more private like your house? Sure, I think Sam went out so it will be just the two of us. That sounds perfect. Finally I found you Sam, I don't know what you know but you got to help me. That thing that almost made me jump is back and it got Valerie. I'll deal with it, but you got to stay here, it is too risky for you, it already tasted your soul. Taste of my soul? She really is a ninja. Can I offer you something? Water, tea, coffee? Black coffee will do, I hate tea, 
that's a drink for patient people, doesn't make sense on such a fast moving world. Never imagine you tough that, sounds deep, I'll go and prepare the coffee, you can leave your sunglass anywhere. I prefer it like this, you know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. I got the coffee, I didn't put any sugar because. Valerie? Where have you gone? Valerie? What are you doing? This is Sam's room and why did you take your clothes off? Don't you like it? Mark would kill for this, you know. David, I desperately need you, forget Sam, forget everyone, I need you, I want you. Valerie I don't know why are you acting like this, but you must be confused or something. She is here. This feels so wrong, I mean. Don't talk, David. How convenient, just when I was about to have some fun with these bones and flesh bags. We are so hungry and you all are just like a buffet to us but you wouldn't get it. You keep refusing to fight me, I still can't believe you care for this bones and flesh bags. Whatever, so be it, same deal as before. Your friend for your life. The fun part is that I didn't force anyone into anything that they didn't want deep inside. I can't force anyone into anything. The boy have been considering ending his life for a while now. The girl, you saw what she was doing to poor David, and you let me in willingly, honey. She's been sleeping for the last five days. The doctor has not a clue on it and the police doesn't have any missing people that matches her. We can only wait and see. <laughs>